Hello. Are you tired? You should. Relax. Relax. Today in Project Zomboid, I'm becoming a seamstress. I don't seem stressed, but I'm patching up. My clothes have holes. I don't like that. You may gawk at me, but I'm protected. Today in Project Zomboid, I'm on a mission. To sleep in my bed, time passes. Today we're on a mission, led by a humble dinosaur. Behold, supplies. We prepare, we prepare to encounter the adversary. I'm on a gas run today, and that means gasoline. There are many adversaries in this neck of the woods, but we've siphoned enough gas from nearby cars that we have enough for a journey. The countryside is foggy today, but this will shroud my next move in mystery. We move swiftly and quietly, and as the population densens, we're sure not to rile up any hordes. Through the farm town we go, only a little way longer, plenty to see here, but certainly not an area we could take on foot, never in our wildest dreams, and we're careful not to hit too many, for they can erase me. Today my target is this gas station. There is a chance that you could take some out before the tires give way. It is definitely dangerous, but I've always found found that backing up is extremely effective. I may have done more than I wagered on my vehicle. Still, backing up is completely s No, here we are. This will definitely harm my vehicle, but I don't really see many other alternatives here. I could burn them. This is just very satisfying. They rise back up to meet me. And here, they have destroyed a window, but not the driver's side. And this is sufficient. We've run over so many, and now, Carried on. The engine is stalling. The engine is stalling. Our engine. Our engine is giving out. Slowly. I think that's it. That's all that we have. Okay. The engine died. Cars didn't used to break down this easily. And when I say easily, I mean, I think I managed to kill 50 before that thing broke down. Still worth it, but I wish it had been more. That's still not enough. We haven't taken the gas station. This was supposed to be a fast battle. Uh, there's a lot of them. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Crap, there's more. I don't. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Unfortunately, our car is stalled. Still, I can fight like the great, like the great grasshopper, the nimblest of the insects. After all, zombies are fast to forget everything if I sneak away. I just go over here. That's all that I have to do. I might have to fight one or two over here, but that's pretty much it. Easy as one, two, three, and a little bit of extra stuff. We've gotten good enough with a spear that we... After, after like four months, we've found a classic wristwatch. I can just leave this on the ground. Ah, that's a digital watch. Dreams do... <laughs> I've wanted to know what day it is for three months. Finally, I know when I am. Although our car is now shot, there is one positive to this. We can still power this gas station with a generator. We'll grab the generator and put it on the ground. Connect the generator and turn it on. It's katana time. We'll just grab as much fuel as we can here. Slowly, carefully, and we will still need to recharge a different car's battery to get out of here. Eventually, we'll find some way of getting back home. Give well enough time and good will come of it, but not without a fight. Antidepressants, we needed those. More gas cans, more zombies. We just remove the battery, remove the charger, connect the car battery, and start charging again. Turn it on. The fog is cleared and the mess is revealed. We can refuel the generator, take more fuel, sneak over, and then add the remaining gas to the car. And in this way, we secure a second car. We'll have to repair our first one and figure out what went wrong as well. We now have so much fuel. A good condition on the engine, a decent gas tank. It might leak a bit, but it's still good. And... I am fatigued from my exercise. Now, I'd like to take out this pack. One, two, three, four. Like cutting through cloth now. And that does it. At last. I think we'll need to tow this one out of here, but it might become a liability. For now, we can escape with the gas cans in our other vehicle. We need only hotwire the engine, and we're in business. That's enough battery charging. I'll take it back. We turn off the generator, remove the battery charger, and with that, we're leaving. We aren't trying to clear this area out just yet, but all we really wanted was a lot of gas this time. Now that we have gas, we can go salvage elsewhere. Later on, we'll be able to retake this area. It's time to get out of here. Now, no problem with the katana, which has excellent recovery time. And that's all it takes. It's, ah, uh, it's broken. Okay, now we really need to beat it. I've been around these bodies too long, too. I'm starting to feel sick. Reinstall, and we're out of here. I'm leaving. I have to get out of here safe. That won't be good. Don't run over anymore. That's enough. 
that's enough. Now, the primary goal was gas, and we got plenty of it, so... I, although we lost our main truck, I'd call this a success. We have everything we need to get more cars. I'm an excellent driver, and I dodge most pedestrians. Most of them. Spend the rest of the night weaving in and out, and probably make it home in time to not feel sick anymore. So far, no engine... Oh. So far, no engine stalls. Now the ride home. We might need extra tires. We'll definitely need them. And we'll need to clear out this dirt path as well. It's always doing a number on our vehicle. Turn in the road. And more appear every day. How will I spend the remaining fleeting days of my existence on this earth, trapped by the modern day ennui that characterizes atomism? I reject this notion. I claim myself with physical fitness. Faster and faster and faster and I sleep. Behold Gerald Williams. He is powerful. Literally. Like the humble dinosaur he sits in his room and watches anime with the door closed, adorning his helmet. It's time to stop. We need to talk. Gerald Williams has come far in his statistics. Statistics are more than enough reason to live. Now, he needs only a little bit more strength and physical fitness to become average. Actually normal again. He will require more food eventually. But he has survived quite a long time. The new goal becomes something far nobler, something far more majestic than we had ever imagined we could ever make it to. You see, Gerald needs a refrigerator to walk the eightfold path, to live in the light. So I need to steal a refrigerator. And now our skills become much more industrial. We need cars, we need refrigerators, electronics to replace parts in our generator. Very fancy. Yes, he is a primitive man. However, the fun news is that he basically doesn't have to worry about food anymore. We can just keep planting cabbages and he'll survive. It's really more just a matter of keeping him happy and safe. And since the zombie respawn is god-awful, I'm going to break out the weapons. It feels like I've been waiting forever to try these out, so I want him to go on a run with one. I won't be carrying much else with me. In fact, I'll leave everything else here. Just Gerald and a box of shotgun shells. A whole lot of them. And so we spend the day feverishly eating potatoes in an attempt to become powerful momentarily. I am powerful. It's time to practice. First, second, third. We'll just gather them up. He doesn't panic anymore. He's He has learned stoicism more truly he is too pure too pure I don't want to get surrounded there we go get a nice bunch do do not panic much better more more as may may have been too close to my house probably good good bring them in just like that and that gives us more levels in aiming and reloading very good very nice wait us there we okay and oh very good very nice I may, I may regret this later, but I just don't really need these houses anymore. Go away, go away, better, and good. Well, you just don't want to lead them home. That would be generally bad. Good, great. I wish I could do something with them, but I can't. And I think we're just about out. This might, this might be more than I had wagered. Well done, well done, Gerald. All that just to be slightly better at aiming. The hope here is that using that shotgun makes us better with smaller, quieter firearms that we could use more selectively. Uh, it's, it's not really ever a good idea to use a shotgun in this game at all. And if nothing else, that fended off the modern day on Wii. I'm now better at two things. I feel great so great that i have to do some squats still my knees buckle and i am extremely weak extremely weak but this is enough truly truly gerald williams is becoming stronger so strong and manly is he that he fells trees and now we clear back out the picketed field my grove is untouched unbeknownst to assailants in the cool damp of the rain we we retire to sleep we rise in the middle of the night and now it's possible to function in the night because of the light I am powerful. I'm also bored. In the morning, we exercise. I'm getting stronger now. Basically, my entire life has just been a, a grind for gains. I won't need a car if I can be the car. A wise old man once said, if you need to invest in something, make it yourself. And we practice running and running and vaulting, parkour. There's still more work to be done on this day. For example, the entire dirt path on the way to our base is now covered in trees. And we'll need to take out a lot of bushes. Bushes are bad. They don't belong. We get rid of them. Young trees don't belong, and we get rid of them. Ah, a cleared path. We'll even remove the grass. I don't want any nature here. Overall, this brought us to strength level four, and we're nearly at fitness level four. And it also brought us to depression level one. 
By mid-morning, it's apparent some parts of the path are completely blocked. I may lose axe condition, but I'll get this way cleared and maintain it that way. Nature truly does reclaim, and one in the middle of our labors. Really a, a surprise, but practice. Usually that means more. It looks like we're safe for now, though. Yet another. When I'm this tired, it is a danger, and my axe is broken. I'm still not all the way to the road yet. We're nearly there, though. I can see it. And at long last, the way is cleared just enough. We have overcome nature, and we should be able to fit a car through this path next time. And with that, a bit more exercise. It appears to be sufficient for fitness level four. I'm now almost average. Now with confidence, we drive the car back to our actual home. It'll be easier to load and unload from there. We now have more luxuries, space, time, food and drink. And now we coast unscathed. An actual parking spot. Eventually we can make this into roads. Behold the power, the towing power. We'll turn off the parking brake and I've never towed a car before, but we'll see how this does. My main vehicle should be able to tow this one behind it. It's definitely slogging through this, though it does build up momentum. But we'll have multiple cars to work on when we get back to base. We should be able to transport double the loot. While I don't know if I'll use this, it could probably be used to surround my base and make it safer. It is also extremely cute. But we'll drop it off behind my home. Otherwise, I don't need two cars for right now. I am glad again. We've made extremely steady progress all around. And it's raining. I love the rain. I really do love it. Quick announcement, I'm gonna be streaming to Twitch more often now. Stay tuned for updates, and I'll write it down in a comment. Otherwise, that's all for now. Please come to a stream. I am extremely lonely. As always, God bless the AA support group. I don't know what I would do without you. I love the true. I love the true. More videos to come soon. But right now, I have to go do something else. Goodbye.